so I hope you're well and having a really lovely day today as always. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new and you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Today's video is something really, really exciting and it is a massive, lush YouTube collaboration which I'm so excited about because I was sat down a few months ago and I thought, Do you know what? I miss old YouTube. I miss classic YouTube where we used to do collaborations and tags and that kind of thing and I was like, Do you know what? we're gonna make a change. So I messaged seven other Lush YouTubers and I was like, right, this is my idea. Do you wanna be involved? They all did, so I'm really, really excited to be doing this video. Basically, it's the biggest Lush collaboration you're ever gonna see on the internet, I'm telling you. The whole idea of this video is that we each spent 50 pounds on the Lush website, mainly on the Christmas range, and we all did a haul, basically, and we're each gonna promote each other and we're just gonna share the love. So, here's my box of stuff. I'm very excited. I'm gonna jump right in. So the first item I bought is the Yognog Body Milk. Now this, I'm hoping, smells exactly the same. Oh, if not better. That is unbelievable. I love the smell of that so, so much. Kinda wish I bought a bigger bottle, I'm not gonna lie, but it was about eight pounds or something for like this tiny bottle, so it is quite expensive. But this one actually has almond oil, clove bud oil, ylang ylang. A lot of people say this smells spicy, but like, I don't smell spice in it at all. To me it just smells like caramel, so I don't know if it's just me, but let me know if you're the same down below, because I feel like, I don't know. Oh, it's unbelievable though. So nice. The next item I bought is the Once Upon a Time Body Lotion, which I've never actually bought before, and apparently it smells like so white, so let's give it a go. Wow, that looks like toothpaste. Look at that. Why does it, why does it smell like a garden? Hang on, I'm gonna put some on my, wrist because I feel like it might smell different. Okay, when it's on the skin, totally different smell. So don't let it kind of worry you when you smell it in the pot because it does smell like an earthy garden. It doesn't smell like apples whatsoever. On the skin, it does smell like apples. So that's really good. This one has apple infusion, almond oil, apple water, jojoba oil, lime oil, lemon oil, grapefruit oil, but it is definitely an apple-y smell, like 100%. Straight up apples, love that. Next up we have the roasting chestnuts on an open fire shower gel. Again, I only got a small one just to give it a try. This one, again, is more of like a gelatinous texture. Is it just me or are all the shower gels like really gloopy now? I don't know, they're really like wobbly, like jelly, I'm not really sure. Wait, does that smell like cinders? That's cinder, oh my god. Why didn't I get a bigger bottle of that? Oh, that's amazing. Oh, that reminds me of Christmas at Lush. It's got the same scent as the Cinder's bath bomb, which they discontinued ages ago. It smells amazing, like 10 out of 10. I'm obsessed with that. I need to smell it again, sorry. Oh, it's like marzipan. It's kind of like a marzipan-y smell. Ingredients wise, this one has oat milk, fine sea salt, almond oil, sage oil, hmm, cedarwood oil, that kind of smell, but it is marzipani so like almonds but it is really really good i love that the next item i bought was a body scrub and this is the orange shower scrub now i'm not gonna lie i thought this was gonna be a smaller bottle because i believe it cost about 10 pounds and i thought it was gonna be a smaller one but i'm glad it's not because muchly appreciated you know let's have a smell wow look at that i don't know why i expected it not to be orange but that smells okay that smells like hoppity poppity. No, it doesn't. What was that rabbit shower jelly like years ago? That's what this smells like, the Easter rabbit jelly thing. And a mix of like, you know those orange cream chocolates you get in a box of, um, what was it, roses? You know the like chocolate orange creams that I absolutely don't like? Like that is what this smells like, but I like the smell of it, so it's fine. Ingredients wise, this one has sea salt, I guess, to exfoliate. You also have orange peel infusion, orange juice, mandarin oil, tangerine oil, bergamot oil, orange peel wax, which I didn't know was a thing, but yeah, I love that. So 10 out of 10 Lush, really, really impressed. So the next item is the only non-Christmassy item that I bought, and that is the rhubarb and custard soap. This smells edible, like I literally feel like I could eat it, but I obviously won't, but I definitely feel like I could. That is so, so nice. It smells like, I don't even know, like that just smells amazing. Really fruity, really sweet, 10 out of 10, obsessed. And it's melting in my fingers, like it's quite a moisturizing soap, so. Love that. So the next item is the Angel Delight bath bomb, which smells like jelly babies. It smells like the Angel Delight soap. I don't know whether you guys would have had that back in the day, many a moon ago, when they used to do that at Christmas, but it smells amazing, really bubblegummy, really sweet. 
It's like Snow Fairy, but in my opinion, like way better. So don't come for me, but oh, amazing. The next bath bomb we have is the Butter Bear. Now I had to pick this one up simply because he looks adorable. Like the new design of him is amazing. He smells just like Butterball, so really cocoa buttery, really clean, really vanilla-y, super moisturising for the skin, nothing too exciting, but sometimes it's nice just to have a, like a nice treat bath bomb, but yeah, I love that, so nice, and look at the new design, like I don't know if you guys can see, because it's quite white, but he's so cute, mm, love it. And last but definitely not least is the Snowman Dreaming Bath Bomb. This one I really liked because it was inexpensive, but also it has a lot of colour. Mine is a little bit damaged, I'm not going to lie. It looks like he's had a bit of a battering on the way here, but he is really, really cute. He smells like... I don't really know how to describe it. Really fresh, but like a little bit fruity. Quite sweet as well. Oh yeah, that one's really, really good. And I can't wait to see this one in the water because it looks like it's going to be a rainbow, which is really exciting. Oh, smells amazing. Love that. So that is everything for this video. I really hope you guys did enjoy. I feel like I got quite a lot for £50. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight things, which is quite good, I think, personally. So let me know down below what you've bought from the Christmas range. I would love to know. Also, don't forget to check out all the other girls' videos down below in my description because you have got seven more hauls to watch. So you're welcome. I hope you guys have a fantastic day and I will see you very soon. Bye, guys. Bye.